So we're going to modify our preferences file to basically just the settings that I use. But of course, you can go and tweak these to do whatever you want. So over in our default preferences, so this is just Sublime's default preference file. You can access this through the preferences menu at the top. So you can see here that we've got quite a bit in here that we can override. And to override something, all we do is we copy it, we paste it into here, and we change the value. Pretty straightforward. So I always have my font size set to 17, so I'm going to leave that as it is. But a couple of other things that I do is I set my line padding. So let's just search for line padding. And the line padding on the bottom here, we can go and paste into here. And we can go and modify this. So for example, five, and you can see that that automatically changes. I happen to have mine to five, but I know some people like it slightly larger. So it's a little bit easier to see what you're working on then. Entirely up to you, you can change this around. So the next thing I do is when I'm writing code, I don't want tabs to be here. I want these to be translated to spaces. This helps for things like version control. So in here we have a translate tabs to spaces and we also have a tab size. Now I happen to want my tab size to be four. So all I want to do is set this to true. So I just go and pull this in and I go and change this over to true. And for me personally, that is pretty much all I do. There's not really much else that I like to change about Sublime. The theme, the background here and everything else suits me. But feel free to go ahead and look through them default options, paste them over and modify it to suit you. There's obviously endless options. Now there is one other thing that I do, and that is I change the font to make it a little bit easier to read. So we're going to go and look at pulling in a really nice font face, which I absolutely love for coding.